Logic Pro for iPad is finally here. I've had early access to it for a couple of weeks now, so in this video I'm going to let you know what I think you should do ASAP when you first download the app. You may have heard about this, although I've not really heard anybody talk about it much, but Logic Pro for iPad is only available at subscription pricing. I'm kidding, it's all anybody's been talking about. Once you download the app from the iOS App Store, you'll be prompted to try the app via the one month free trial that Apple offers and which subscription model you want, either yearly at $49 slash £49 or monthly at $4.99 or £4.99. Once you've picked which subscription you want to do, you'll be prompted to download three essential sound packs. The Studio Instrument Essentials Pack, Electronic Essentials Pack, and the Hip Hop Essentials Pack. Altogether, these packs come in at just under 2 gigabytes and give you a core selection of loops, instrument patches, and plugin presets to get you started. There are many, many more sound packs for you to download too, but before you do that, I'd highly recommend that you Logic Pro for iPad is a deep and complicated DAW, and the 22 interactive lessons that are currently available here are a great way to get your head around it. You should probably try and work your way through all of these lessons at some point anyway, but I'd recommend the following lessons at least before you dive headfirst into the app proper. Logic Pro for GarageBand users. If you're coming to Logic Pro from GarageBand, then you'll definitely find this lesson useful. In it, you'll learn stuff like how to find sounds and loops in the browser, how to create tracks, how to use play surfaces to play software instruments, how to edit sounds, how to arrange and edit regions, how to use live loops, and how to download additional sound packs. You should also have a look at the record, edit, and arrange lessons to gain a better understanding of how to find your way around the app. And the work with plugins lessons, which shows you how Logic's new plugin tile system works, gives you an intro to the excellent sample alchemy and beat breaker plugins, and an overview of how Logic's mixer, buses, and sends work. It's important to note that unlike GarageBand and Logic Pro on Mac, both of these apps don't share a sound library, so even if some of these sound packs look familiar to you, if you've previously used GarageBand on iOS, you'll still need to download them again to use them in Logic Pro. The whole shebang, so the Logic Pro app itself, plus all available content at the time of launch, comes in at a little under 16 gigabytes. So even if you're running a 32 gigabyte storage iPad 8th gen, you'll still be able to download and access everything that Logic Pro for iPad has to offer. If you want to download absolutely everything, the best way is to open the sound library, then hit manage packs, and then tap get all next to all available packs. If you'd rather pick and choose which packs to install, here are a couple of recommendations. 8-Bit Legends is packed full of excellent nostalgia-drenched alchemy patches, loops and samples. The alchemy patches in particular are brilliant, and if you're into creating synthwave or retrowave, or just love that 80s aesthetic, this pack is a must-have. Cinematic Synths. You're only getting synth patches here, a hundred of them to be exact, but wow, are they incredible. Some properly dramatic sounds are on offer here that if you're into sweeping ambient dreamscapes as much as I am, you will love. The Studio Horns and Studio String sound packs are the largest available in the whole library, and with good reason. 
the incredibly high quality instrument sounds that come with these packs are nothing short of phenomenal. And GarageBand sounds. If you're coming from GarageBand for iOS and plan to bring across your projects into Logic Pro, this pack is essential. It adds instrument compatibility samples and over 1300 Apple loops. Speaking of opening GarageBand projects in Logic Pro, Apple have made it really easy. With Logic Pro open, head out to the Files view and instead of tapping the plus icon to open a fresh Logic project or opening an existing Logic project, instead make your way to your GarageBand for iOS folder. You might find this either in your iCloud Drive location or on your iPad, depending on where you keep things. Tap through and when you've found the project file you want to open in Logic Pro, go ahead and tap on it. A box will pop up telling you that a duplicate project will be created in Logic and after a few seconds, it will open in the Logic Pro workspace. All plugins you had applied, including third-party AUV3s, will be present and correct, provided they're currently installed on your device, of course, and you can just pick up where you left off. I wasn't able to open a Logic Pro for Mac project file in Logic Pro for iPad, as the desktop version of Logic requires an update before this is possible. Having said that, that update should be live as you're watching this video, so go ahead and give it a try yourself. If you caught Apple's Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad trailer, video thing, you'll no doubt be aware that they work closely with producer Duo Take A Day Trip when developing the app. Take A Day Trip have provided one of their own tracks in project form here, Manzana, and opening it up and having a peek at all of the tracks, plugins, buses and sends is a great way to really understand what's possible in Logic Pro for iPad. Alright, a quick fire one through for some extra bits and pieces. I'll be covering these in far greater detail in videos in the coming weeks. But for now, here are some things you should definitely try out as soon as you download Logic Pro. There are full lessons for each of these inside the Learn and Explore section inside Logic Pro's lesson page, but for now, here's a quick rundown of each. Sample Alchemy lets you quickly resynthesize a single sample and transform it into a unique playable instrument. It provides a variety of synthesis techniques such as granular, additive and spectral, which can be combined to create a wide range of sounds. It's a brilliant way to take an otherwise straightforward audio clip, for example, and twist and mangle it into something else entirely. Beatbreaker is an audio effect that reorders incoming audio in real time, allowing you to slice up your audio, rearrange it, and add scratching effects. You can do some really weird things with Beatbreaker. But I found it to be especially useful for adding stutter type effects to melodies and drum patterns. It's really easy to get to grips with and really great fun to use as well.
Unlike GarageBand, where you need to switch to different screens to access different touch instruments interfaces, you can play any of Logic Pro's instrument patches using one of five playable surfaces. A straight up keyboard, drum pads, a fretboard, chord strips, or guitar strips. If you have your own samples saved onto your iPad and want to bring them into Logic Pro for iPad, the process is really straightforward. First off, on your homepage, open the Files app. Tap the three dots at the top of the screen and select Slide Over. When you're prompted to pick a second app to slide over, pick Logic Pro. Now in your Logic Pro project window with your Files app overlaid, find the file you want to bring into your Logic project. Press and hold on it and then drag and drop it straight into your project window. Note that dragging it into the timeline will create a basic audio track, while dropping it into the track header area will allow you to open the sample directly into a new instance of Sample Alchemy, Quick Sampler or Drum Machine Designer. Right, that's what to do first in Logic Pro for iPad. Let me know your thoughts on this brand new DAW down in the comments, and let me know if you're going to be taking it for a whirl yourself. If you could give that like button a wee slap on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. And if you still have questions about Logic Pro for iPad, like why did Apple go for a subscription model, and what plugins can you use, watch this next.